All right, I've decided to sell it. I want to get something a little more roomier for me. Uh, my big tall ass fits, but it's cramped, especially when you go to put it in reverse. So let me do a quick video, walk around. This the thing's done to it. Um, high points, highlights, whatever you want to call it. So first of all, when I first got the buggy, well, just the chassis. I bought the chassis by itself, and it was gel coat green, and it was spider cracked everywhere. Uh, it was also cracked here where people sit on the fender, and it cracked here on both sides. I had to repair that. <clears throat> Tons of holes throughout. Uh, I spent hours and hours block sanding this. So it's absolutely flat and perfect everywhere. I put uh, two gallons of high build primer, but like I said, block sanding with guide coat in between each layer. And if you don't know what guide coat is, uh, when you spray something with the high build primer, any low spots, the black powder goes into it. So when you block sand with the flat, it leaves the little black areas so you know those are low so like i said there's this thing Oof. i spent eight hours alone just on this center line right there on that hood getting that perfect um so i, I didn't do the final paint job but i did the final priming sand wet sand 800 and took it to the painter and uh, he actually made me come home and redo it again because it wasn't perfect enough. So uh, the, what I paid for this paint job was crazy cheap because I did the hard part. Well, this is hard too. It's all hand spun silver leaf, hand pinstriped throughout cotton candy metal flake. More pinstriping everywhere. Come around the back. Got some uh, Vespa uh, scooter tail lights. Uh, I'm believing they were 1959. I ordered these from Germany. Some more pinstriping. Nice plain dash. I didn't want it clustered. Dual port 1600 motor. Uh, stainless steel open exhaust. I have baffles for it. Uh, it's all been powder coated. All the parts that you see the black, brown, tan. Underneath, optimum battery. Uh, what they need to support the seat and put this angle from one shock tower to the other. It's also a stabilizer, I guess you could say. So more powder coating there. Yeah, most everything covered with this here. There's a couple extra circuits here in case you want to add something, lights, uh, other parts to the motor, whatever you may have. nice to have more circuits than you need so these are 18 inches wide nice deep rims everybody wants these um, so if you want them you got to get them with the car uh, we'll just we'll work on the price if you're interested I made the floor mats those are custom I got them from raw wood cut them down sanded them brass screws it's a Burmese teak. So that's in there. I cut the floor pan in half and cut out the 15 inches of welded all back together myself. So I did everything but the final paint job. All new ball joints, uppers, lowers, everything. The low, I cut in the uh, uh, front end adjusters put plugs on all the lights so you can unplug the lights and take take them take them off there's, right there, there's a plug so zoom into that that goes to the other side actually there's the LED lights there like I said everything's new all the ball joints tie rod ends everything um what else what else what else probably a bunch of little things here and there Oh, it's got a rebel wiring harness, electric fuel pump. It's right there. Fuel line and the brake lines all run through the tunnel. So, it's only about a year and a half old, the build. 
So it's still really fresh. Only been to a few shows. I will ship it. Um, set up a eBay account or listing and you can buy it. We'll ship it that way. It's pretty small and compact. It shouldn't cost much. So let me know.